everybody, it's Janet with Be Blessed Health and Fitness. Sorry, I'm trying to cut down on the noise here for a second. Happy Friday, it's Fitness Tip Friday. I just finished my workout for the day. Um, today is double Friday, so um, I did two 25 minute workouts. But the good news is my program is five days a week, 25 minutes a day, except for Friday. If you have time to do a double, which means I don't have to work out on the weekend. So today I had time, I did that double, and uh, feeling good, I actually still have gas left in the tank, which is always a good feeling, right? Maybe you don't know that feeling. If you don't, stick with it, you'll get there. Um, wanted to share with you a couple tips today. Um, I've had some questions recently about uh, what to do if your knees are hurting, especially if you're just starting out in your workout. Um, it seems to be a common problem and most often it's due to improper form. So wanted to just give you a couple tips and pointers on what you might be able to do um, to cut down on that if you are experiencing knee pain. I'm gonna see, and hopefully you can see me here. So the most common issues with knee pain are lunges and squats. So if you're starting a workout program and you're not used to doing those moves um, frequently, I find people experience some pain and most often it's form. So for example, with lunges, with lunges, you should be at a 90 degree angle. Your front knee, 90 degrees. Your back knee, 90 degrees. Let me see if I can move this a little bit so you can see me better. So back knee straight down 90 degrees, front knee 90 degrees. You want to keep your knee behind your toe or behind your ankle or not um, don't let it cross your ankle so you want to make sure that you have good form with 90 degrees you should be able to move your toes i don't know if you can see me i'm moving my toes so the weight should be in your heel and i should be able to move my toes while i'm down here same with squats if you're in a squat make sure that your knees are directly above your ankle and I should be able to move my toes. Let's see, can I get the lower so you can see me? Okay, here you can see my feet. So I'm gonna squat, I can move my toes while I'm here and my knees are not pushing. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep them straight. A squat should be more toes forward, knees bent, I can wiggle my toes. If you try those and you're still experiencing some knee pain, just don't go as low. So I know I said 90 degrees, but, yeah. sorry, this is a really annoying video. Um, I said 90 degrees, this is your ultimate goal, it's 90 degrees. But if you can only go to here when you're starting out, and that's as far as it'll take you that your knees don't hurt, that's all you can do. Trust me, you'll get stronger. So don't give up, don't, don't not do those moves because you experience some discomfort. Now, if you're experiencing a very sharp pain and a pain that lasts well beyond your workout, you may wanna to talk to a doctor, um, but give these tips a try and see if they work. If you're having knee pain and you try them out, let me know what you think. Um, other than that, that's my tip today. So everyone have a great Friday. Uh, I've had a really rousing cheering squad here today. You know, if you can see them, hang on. Look at that. They're like super into what I'm doing. I mean, they are like pooped here. They think it's nap time. Anyway, have a great Friday and a great weekend. Bye everyone.